everyone and welcome to the Impact Play. My name is Mohamed Agam, is known as It's Yagu, and I am your show host and producer on the ones and twos, and we are your one stop news shop for the latest and greatest across gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, music, and esports. Plus, we're also amplifying voices from those perspective fields. And I'm just a result here on the Impact Play. The support keeps the lights running and keeps the content coming. You can support us over at Acre to the Fem slash the Impact Play. We're at tier two supporters of and above access to exclusive content, including the, show, the post show, getting the show ad free, and so much more. We can even support us by using our epic creator code at Impact Play. We are epic partners. Every purchase you make with an epic store will be Rack League, <laughs> Fortnite, Fall Guys, and more. No matter where you play or how you play, even if it's a free to play title, when you use that credit code, do we get a little bit of a kickback to help support us in a brand new way and no extra cost to you? This episode of the Mike Play is also sponsored by Audible. However, me and the team will tell you about that later. This is the MM Plays Review Cast, episode 272, where we are reviewing the first two episodes of Velma. So stay tuned and enjoy. Alrighty, folks, so before we get into this review cast, uh, please keep in mind that this episode is going live exclusively to our tier 2 supporters and above. Uh, also, after a 24 hour uh, hiatus, it will be available to everyone else. On top of that, so if you guys are interested in becoming a supporter, be sure to join our Discord for more information on that. But nonetheless, let's get into this review. Uh, I guess there will be... Uh, I guess we'll keep it as two two separate parts once again for this review. So the first uh, part, there will be uh, a... We should try to keep it spoiler-free as possible for our, our review and our hot takes as well as the rating. And, and for part two, we'll discuss more of the spo spoilery uh, discussion. So, I guess let's get into this shortly. You can sign up for your free 30 day trial and immediately get access to one credit. If you have Amazon Prime, you have access to two credits. And it's good for any premium title. Simply go to audibletrial.com slash to make way. Once again, the URL is audiblechannel.com backslash to back play. Thank you to Audible for thank you to Audible for sponsoring this episode of the Impact Play. Alrighty, folks. So I guess let's get started. But nonetheless, uh, the first two episodes of Velma is available now on HBO Max. And please keep in mind this is uh, not a, uh, I guess a. What's that word I'm looking for? It is not a reboot of the Scooby-Doo franchise, but it is a franchise on its own. So, of course, uh, with that in mind, it is also an adult show. That's why it's being uh, it's available now on HBO Max. So it's not kid-friendly, unlike uh, how how we, uh, you and I grew up with uh, Scooby-Doo franchise. It is, this is completely different. So it is... Uh, Adult rated, nonetheless, and and uh, I guess we're not gonna discuss the backstory because that's gonna have spoilers in it. Uh, so the it's doing this different than the way it's it's doing with The Last of Us that it's available on HBO Max as well, where The Last of Us will be available each and every week. There will be a new episode, but with uh, Velma, the, uh, is doing it two episodes per week. So this week there's two episodes, and next week there'll be another two and another two. But with that in mind, like it's the characters are different. Like I said, it's it's not a reboot; it's a franchise on its own, and it looks like it's building, uh, it's building the crew, uh, on its own accord, uh, while build uh, building its own story and everyone's uh, origin story as well. On top of that, like I've seen the ratings on this, like it's horrible because it's not be, it's not uh, be, uh, being akin to the Scooby Doo franchise, but it's not. That's the whole purpose of this show, even though it's animated. That's the whole purpose of it. Like, why else would they do something like this? Because it's not akin to the Scooby Doo franchise at all. It's it's literally, it's becoming uh, its own thing. So, 
I guess that's how you have to look at this show with a fresh pair of eyes. Forget about, about what you know about Scooby Doo and what have you, and just listen to the story building, the character building, and what have you. And also, what what what's uh, what this is doing good? What I like about it, it's uh, how uh, how She Hulk was doing as well, but it's doing it in a uh, I brought in sense how it's uh, breaking out the fourth wall, the fourth dimension. So it's talking to the now. Also, is it talking to the audience? It's also uh, talking to itself as a series or an episode. And on top of that, it's also uh, it's also I guess uh, giving us a little bit of Easter eggs. Uh, how it's being inspired by other shows and what have you. But yeah, so the first two episodes are dubbed uh, Velma and the Candy Man, Candy Woman, which is available now. And it looks like it's gonna... Let's see. It's gonna have 10 episodes in total. According to its IB uh, DB profile. So with that in mind, I did. Uh, uh, the only I guess thing I have with the show is I didn't think it was gonna be an adult show. I'm like, what in the world is going on here? Like, huh? But with that in mind. Uh, like I said, you do have to look at this with a fresh pair of eyes to judge it for what it is, not for what you expected it to be or what you think it should be. But with that in mind, uh, hmm. So, does it deserve a three and a half? No. I'm going to give it a three out of a five star rating on the Emma Play scale. Uh, but on the IMDb scale, it's going to be six. Yeah, so double. Yeah, so six. So, one. We're going to rate the first two episodes the same. If we rate them together. Nope. Okay. All right. There we go. So I hope you guys, uh, if you guys are, are not sticking around for a part two, if you guys don't enjoy spoilers, I thank you for st stopping by. Be sure to release or review us on your favorite platform and be sure to consider subscribing to the Mac Play as well. But nonetheless, for everyone else, we'll see you on part two. Alrighty, folks, so welcome to part two, where we're going to have a more of a spoilery uh, discussion in regards to Velma, the first two episodes of the series, of the TV show that is available now on HBO Max. But nonetheless, uh, if you guys are still around, thank you for, for being here. Uh, and anyways, let's get to it, folks, so... Velma, turn, uh, how according to her or origin story in this uh, TV series, is she's the founder of the of the mystery gang. So uh, her and Velma were BFFs growing up, and then it changed uh, afterwards uh, as they all grew up. But nonetheless, uh, as uh, Velma grew up, uh, whenever uh, she w uh, went out of her way to solve a mystery, she would have these hallucinations and these uh, panic attacks because of that, uh, because uh, following that, I should say. But uh, uh, and this all started because when she was a kid, she would also uh, she would uh, solve her. Mom mom's uh mysteries and what have you 
But nonetheless, one day she finds finds a hidden Christmas pre uh, presents, and uh, her mom felt bad. She wanted to buy her a gift that she uh, that she didn't know about, so she went out that that night, and she never returned. So, and that's why she was she would have this panic attacks, hallucinations, what have you. But nonetheless, uh, while she's sneaking around, she's uh, trying to scare the popular girls, and uh, Daphne is one of them. And of course, uh, they, uh, Velma and Daphne have this sort of connection. That it's uh, that it waits until episode two of for, uh, for it to actually connect uh, to each other, and then. We also saw Orville as well, which is uh, uh, looks like he's supposed to be Shaggy, but not Shaggy at the same time. So uh, uh, we saw Orville, we saw Daphne, we also saw Fred. Where in this show he's uh, he's in high school as well, going along with his cousin. He's dating Daphne. But uh, he hasn't gone through pu puberty yet, so he's like a little kid, essentially. And he's like a popular kid, and he did, uh, at the beginning, he wants something to do with Velma. And then he also has his own connection with Velma as well in the second episode. So, es essentially, uh, there is, uh, after the show progresses, in the first episode, there is this student that was murdered with her head cut open. And her brain just out. So. Apparently it looks like Velma was framed. And then as she was trying to solve it. It also seems that Fred was framed as well. So we just have to wait and see. How the show. Progresses. But nonetheless. Uh, we also see, Like I said. We see this connection between all these other characters. Between Norval. Norval has a crush on Velma. But then, as he was trying to uh, go out of his way to show his feelings, uh, him, her, and Daphne were having their moment. So, of course, uh, he didn't approach her because, you know, it looks like they, they, she ha uh, they, ha they uh, I should say, they've been having uh, hidden feelings for each other until it finally came out. But nonetheless, I guess we'll have to wait and see until these other characters come out to being uh, Scooby-Doo. I don't know how they're going to bring him here. We'll see if if uh, if, if they even are uh, the, mystery, the mystery machine and on top of that. so And also, what I forgot to mention is uh, that Daphne is also selling drugs that are named after these, uh, such as the mystery machine, Zoings, and what have you. These, these uh, Scooby-Doo terms. So that is the only connection that's having to the franchise uh, before this. But that's about it. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I guess that's our spoilery discussion. Like, it was okay. The animated, uh, the animation was decent. The story, I, I, uh, it's, like I said, it's connecting between like, these different characters. And... And also, I'm interested in these characters as well, how they're further going to uh, expand on one another. Or connect to each other even more. And, or not, in more than one way. Um, all in all, that's about it on the spoilery front. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to to next week. Uh, once the, the next two episodes uh, comes to being... And then we'll also release another review cast following suit as well in regards to that. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to leave us a review just to bring any of your platform, whether it be Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Music, and more. We are there. You can also catch uh, where we record live uh, the regular recordings of the Impact Play, uh, where we discuss uh, the latest and greatest news uh, topics uh, and discussions are regarding gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, music, and esports as well is in that is in that mix. Uh, 
But nonetheless, you could catch us uh, when we do that over at youtube.com uh, slash the impact play as well as twitch.tv slash the impact play. Also, uh, be sure to let us know your feedback, even uh, a rating of the impact play. Uh, you could also uh, you could uh, you could rate us or, or review us on Spotify, and you could also uh, let us know your thoughts on each and every episode on Spotify as well. Uh, the other ways to, to do so, you can send us an email to readymail at theimplay.com, Discord, or even by leaving an email to readymail at the, oh no, I did our email, leaving a voice note over at anchor.fm slash play where your feedback will play, will be read live or even uh, play live here on the show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We appreciate every single one of you. Have a good one. And until next time, folks. <laughs>